Hey everybody, it's Eric. Welcome to our channel. We are the Mature Minded Gamers, a group of adult gamers with a passion for gaming. Today we're talking about V Rising. We're going to show you how to set up your very own dedicated server for the brand new 1.0 release, which is coming out here May the 8th, which is just a couple days from now. We're going to show you how to get set up, have a server ready for you and your crew to play V Rising. Let's get to it. All right, first thing we're going to be doing is use, we're going to use Steam CMD, and this is going to be on a Windows machine. If you don't have Steam CMD, just Google it, Steam CMD altogether. It's going to be the very first link to Valve Developer Community that pops up here. Click on that, and then we're going to click on Windows. There is a Linux client, but I don't do Linux on my, my side, so I'm not very much help there. Apologies. This is going to be a Windows version. And then up here where it says Download Steam CMD for Windows, there's a little one there. Just click on that. And then it's going to download it for you wherever your downloads go. Mine are up here. You're going to want to execute that. As you can see, I already have it installed. So you're going to want to extract this and put it into wherever you want directory-wise, into a folder. I would recommend somewhere very easy to find. And uh, mine, I have a shortcut here on my desktop. Here's my Steam CMD client. You're only going to have this if it's the first time you installed it. If you already have it installed, you, your folder should look very similar to mine. And you just want to execute Steam CMD. And if it's the first time, it's going to take a little bit. It's going to download some files. It's going to fill up your folder. It's going to get all the necessary stuff. But when you get to a prompt that says Steam with a little blinking icon, you are there. Now we need to log in. And for almost every dedicated server, if the client's set up right, you can just log in anonymously. So you just type in login space A-N-O-N-Y-O or Y-M-O-U-S. Log in anonymous. Hit enter, and it's going to log you in. Now, some games, if, it, if, if when you're trying to do this, if it gives you an error that says you need an account that owns it, no subscription, then you need to log in with your actual Steam info right here. But like I said, for most of the stuff that we do, we can just log in anonymous. And then we should, once it gets it done, you should be at another Steam prompt like we are right now. Then we're going to type in app app underscore update space. And then we need the number for the game files for V Rising, which is 1829. Three, five, zero. Hit enter, and it's going to actually start to download the server files. These are the files that you're going to use to, to host a dedicated server. And it could take a little bit depending on your connection speed and whatnot, so you just got to kind of sit here and wait for it to download. We are done downloading. It is fully installed. As you can see, it says at the very bottom, you should be at a blinking Steam prompt again. Now you can type in exit, hit enter, and that's going to close out that window. Now go back to wherever you originally had put this, your Steam CMD folder. Now you should see a folder called Steam Apps. You're going to want to go in there. You're going to want to go to Downloads, or Downloading, excuse me. Oops, I, went, I told you wrong. You want to go to Common, not Downloading, sorry. Common, and then you should see all the servers that you've downloaded. I have a lot on here. You, a lot in here. Obviously, if you've only done V Rising, this will be the only folder you'll see is the V Rising dedicated server. It's where you want to go in. These are your files that you just downloaded. And there are some, they've, they've made this pretty easy. So there is a start server example dot bat. There's a readme. Definitely want to read that. Gives you instructions if you're struggling with the video here. All right. Now you're going to want to copy from the set Steam app ID down to the very bottom. Just highlight it. Click copy. Close that out. And we're going to actually open, create our own file. So right click on that folder, hit new. We're going to go to text file. We're going to name it V Rising dash start and then delete out the dot text and put in a dot VAT. Hit enter. It's going to ask if you're sure you want to make these changes. Hit yes. If you didn't have the option to change the file extension at the end there, if you go up to view on your folder and then put a check mark next to file name extensions here, then you can change, you can edit it that way. All right, so now we're going to go in and edit this. Whoops, I hit open. I did not mean to do that. We're going to edit this. We're going to paste in what we just copied. And now we want to make the changes that we want. So server name is really all I want to change here. MMG. Save. It's probably all you want to change is your server name as well. Now we're going to run our dot map. All right, next up, we need to ma manipulate some of the settings on the server itself. Now we're going to go into vRising data streaming assets settings and we have two files here server game setting dot json you want to edit this with notepad or notepad plus plus here's a whole bunch of settings you can change for various things on the server i don't know what they all do but they're pretty well described by the the name of it but do be careful it's be very easy to break something i recommend you make a copy of this 
before you start manipulating it in case you mess something up and you have a default copy to, to fall back to. But this changes like all the different server settings you can change, health, everything, damage, you name it. I'm gonna leave mine default because I want mine to be default. But once you have your changes, make sure you hit file and save to save them. Now here's the one that we're gonna have to manipulate. This is the server host settings.json. You wanna edit it. And then these are where your ports listed. This is the port that you have to open on your firewalls. So this is including your Windows firewall and your router firewall. And if you have an antivirus firewall, that as well. So all your firewalls need to have this port, these two ports right here forwarded. 9876 and 9877. Uh, I'll have a link in this video description to how to do it on your Windows firewall. And on your router firewall, I recommend you just Google it. Every, all of them is a little bit different. So um, you kind of got to Google the steps to figure out how to do it on your own. All right, and then these are the settings. This is your description. You can put in whatever you want there. You can put in your your name of the server, a V rising server. Again, uh, server name will still be defaulted from that dot bat that we manipulated, though. Don't forget that. All right, uh, server SPS, all this stuff you can you can change. The main things you need to change though, list on Steam. If you want it to show up in the Steam browser, so when you try to join it and friends try to join it, you have to have this set to true. By default, it's set to false. So change that to true. List on EOS, I changed to true as well, just to be safe. So turn those to true if you want people to be able to join it externally from the Steam browser. Otherwise, they have to join by directly from your IP address. So however you want to handle that. And then here's a few more settings, but that's all you want to really change. And then once you're done, hit file and save to save it. Oops, I clicked the wrong button. And you are good. Just hit file, save, close out. Now you can start your actual server. So we're going to go back. Yeah, I just lost, I closed the wrong window, but here we're going to go back, mainly back to the main folder. Steam CMD, nope, Steam apps. Common, V Rising dedicated, and then our, our dot bat that we made right here, we're going to launch it. Now, this game handles it a little differently. A lot of games will show you what's happening on the server. This game doesn't. It keeps this window up and it tells you, you know, if you want to close down the server, you got to click on this window and then hit Control C to shut down the server. But how you know the server is actually running is you want to open up a command prompt like I've done here. So you can right click on your taskbar, hit Task Manager. That brings up the Task Manager here. And then you want to look for this Windows command processor. And you want to make sure you have vRising Server to EXE running. That means the server is up and running. That way you know for sure. And you see it's moving to using the CPU, it's, it's on. Then you can close your task manager when you're done with it. All right, now I'm gonna show you how to check to see if your server is up. And when you're ready to shut down your server, or if you wanna update your server, you just go through the very front steps where you load Steam, C Steam CMD, and then you do that app underscore update with the ID number. Like, so go back to the very start of the video, how we installed the server files. That's also how you update the server. So whenever they release a new update for the dedicated servers, that's just how you update it. Just go back through those steps again. It'll update it for you that way. Now, if you want to shut down your server, make sure you're clicked in this window, hit control C and then wait. Cause I know it looks like it's not doing anything. It is, it just takes it a second to, to get ready to shut down. So it's doing all the saves. It's, it's, you know, doing everything it needs to do and preparing itself to get ready to shut down. So just be patient. And then it should say terminate batch job. And then you want to hit yes, hit enter. Now the server shut down and just to double check, go to your task manager again. You can see now I don't have that, uh, the steam CMD process running. So yeah, the server is down. It's not running anymore. And that's how you shut it down. All right, now when you get your server up and you're ready to join it, go back to the machine that you're going to play on, load up vRising, you're going to hit the play button, you're going to hit online play, then just hit click on show all servers down here, and then in the name search, whatever you typed in as your name, ours was MMG, there it is, our server right there, and you can click on it to see a little bit more details, and then you just hit join game to join your actual server. All right, everybody, thanks for watching the video. Hopefully this helped you out and getting you started in your own B Rising server. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's what keeps us growing the community here at the MMG. Without your support, we would stop doing these videos. So subscribe. And if you can, give us some of your money on Patreon. We have a dollar tier. That just shows us that you appreciate what we do and that we helped you out. It's not a whole bunch of money, but it, it's a lot to me. It helps us, keeps us growing the community. And don't forget to join our Discord. We have an active community that uh, would love to have you as a member of. All right, everybody, thanks for watching and have yourself a great day.